Good morning everyone. Welcome to Viewpoints, an online meeting with new students and parents. So for this morning, we're going to discuss about the business education in the new normal. And we're very lucky to have with us today the program chairs and the dean of the ETU Chenko College of Business. So for this morning, we have the program chair of the BS uh, Tourism Management, Ms. Merle Ruiz. The Program Chair of BS Accountancy and BS Accounting Information System, Ms. Rizalina Ong. And the Program Chair of BS Hospitality Management and the Dean of the ETU Chenko College of Business, Ms. Maria Rodora, Austria. So before I give the floor to the Dean of ETYCB, if you have questions, you may post your questions in the chat box found on the uh, lower right side of your screen. So without further ado, I will uh, now give the floor to the Dean of ETYCD, uh, Dean Rodora Austria. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, nice to be back on Viewpoints. Uh, thank you, Ms. Nat, for the introduction. So for this morning, uh, we will be discussing about the different programs offered by the ETU Chenko College of Business. And then uh, as we go along, we will be discussing about the careers that are available to the graduates, particularly in the new normal. And uh, also, we will be discussing on uh, what our graduates have to say you know, about their experience um, in studying at MCL. And then we will also be discussing how the college uh, will, or rather, is uh, preparing you know, for, the, uh, for the next school year. And also what our students and faculty members have to say uh, uh, and what they feel about online learning. Okay? So uh, let me just introduce to you the different programs that are available uh, under the ETU Chenko College of Business. So, we have, uh, the first one is the Bachelor of Science in Accountancy. Then we also have the Bachelor of Science in Accounting Information System, Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship, Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management, and Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, uh, Major in Marketing. Now, let me just uh, turn you over to the program chair of uh, the BS Accountancy and BS AIS programs, Ms. Riza Lina Ong. Hi, good morning. It's nice to be here. So, for this another edition of Viewpoint. BS Accountancy and BS Accounting Information System are the two academic programs offered by ETYCB. So, to those who have not yet decided on what program to take, why choose accountancy? Well, for one, it's highly flexible. Whether you want to work in a financial institution, manufacturing, um, professional service, fashion, politics, sport, or business, accountancy could be your route in. So the skills you gain when you study accountancy turn you into a highly sought-after finance professional who can work across team and in strategic diverse roles and can lead you all the way up to the boardroom. It is also immensely rewarding. A career in accountancy could come up with um, generous salaries and opportunities to progress quickly. So it's a highly respected profession and is also really satisfying. You'll draw on strategic leadership and communication skills. You work with a variety of teams and really make an impact on the workplace and the wider world. For an industry that offers a number of career options. So career opportunities may be divided into four areas of scope or practice. First, public accounting. So here, students in public practice are working in accounting firms or individually to provide audit and attestation, um, tax planning and preparation, and even 
advisory services to their clients. Now, you can serve multiple clients. Now, in private accounting, this is also known as practice in commerce and industry. Okay, uh, but unlike profit accounting, the accountant here serves only one company. So, accountants in private accounting provide a staff function which supports the company by performing accounting related tasks. Positions in private practice include entry level, such as um, bookkeeper, accounting clerk, cost accountant financial analyst and others now from there new entrants can work up their, their way to the organizational chart and get to key management positions such as chief finance officer chief internal auditor um, and even uh, the chief executive officer now another scope is the government accounting Government agencies also need accountants. These agencies like the BIR, the SEC, the national government, and the local government units, they need accounting information to help them plan, um, budget, forecast, and allocate government funds. Auditors are also employed by the government to ensure the proper use and allocation of the set funds. And the last of the scope is accounting education. This area is made up of accountants who are into teaching, research, and um, training and development. Accountants can pursue a career as a faculty member in a school, a researcher, an author of an accounting book, a reviewer, or a trainer. Uh, um, MCL started information system only last 2018. Now the AIS program prepares students for specialized careers in accounting, auditing, consulting, business analysis, and management. The program is actually a combination of um, management information system and accounting. Accounting information system can lead down to many career paths. Some career options include becoming a computer system systems analyst, a management consultant, systems auditor, accountant, data analyst, or data administrator. So with a little bit of hard work, coupled with the drive to succeed and the passion for technology, you can reap the many rewards that AIS has to offer. Um, next, the MCL education to, uh, prior to COVID-19 pandemic. One of MCL's mission is to provide the learning environment that would transform our students into globally competitive professionals and to give their professional account of how the education has helped them to be successful from our, our alumni. Let's hear from some of our graduates. So we have Mark Earl Angel Angelo Antonio, who is now on scholarship studying in Australia sponsored by Australia Awards. It, be, it will be followed by Attorney Dali Rose Limusinero, now a partner at AM Season and Partners Law Office. And lastly, Attorney Mara Maridimano, who serves as Clerk of Court 5 at the Regional Trial Court of Pinyan. Let's hear from our alumni. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Angelo Antonio. I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Accounting. From Charlie Batch. I passed the CPA licensure exam in October 2015, but I started working as early as 2014 at SGN Company, which is one of the big four firms operating under EY or Ernst Young brand. A bulk of my success can be attributed to my journey in MCL. Studying in a trimestral set.
tough is already difficult. But thanks to the uh, MCL facilities, it was made relatively easier. And the journey to knowledge has been more fun and productive because of that. Yes, we have very strict deadlines, but learning Hi everyone, I'm Marker Lanza. Hello, Antonio. I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Accountancy from Charlie Batch. I passed the CPA licensure exam in October 2015, but I started working as early as 2014 at SGN Company, which is one of the big four firms operating under EY or Ernst Young brand. A bulk of my success can be attributed to my journey in MCL. Studying in a trimestral setup is already difficult, but thanks to the uh, MCL facilities, it was made relatively easier, and the journey to knowledge has been more fun and productive because of that. Yes, we have very strict deadlines, but the learning environment is supportive, and so is the competitive spirit surrounding the whole student key of MCL. I even serve as the president of both the ATH Enco College of Business and the Supreme Student Council of Malayan Colleges Laguna, despite our workload being heavy enough as an accountancy student. I owe my development under the tutelage of my mentors, my professors, and all the people in MCL. It has been, what, six years since I graduated, but I've always been proud to carry with me the MCL brand. I still keep in touch with everyone in MCL. In fact, I celebrated with them when I got the opportunity to study abroad, uh, to study masters in Australia. To you who is planning to take up accountancy, go for it. I will not, and I'll never tell you that the journey is easy, because it's not. I have been academically confident all my life, but I have failed a lot of times, even in MCL, that have made me doubt myself. But when things become tough, that's when it becomes more work worth it in the end and make the most out of your experience by being friends and nurturing relationships with everyone in MCL. We are there to guide your journey and to push you to the limit. Uh, truly, you teach one another what excellence and virtue really means and how you bring that even when you leave the institution. So again, thank you and I wish everyone the best. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Arlan. Like everyone else, I started with a dream of becoming successful, and my journey began in choosing Malayan Colleges Laguna. Back in high school, I was clueless of what program to enroll in college, but I was certain that I want to enroll in MCL. Actually, I was torn in choosing engineering and choosing accountancy. I chose accountancy. Well, accountancy is never easy, but with MCL's high standard of education, state-of-the-art facilities, and with the guidance of esteemed faculty, you know you have a promising career ahead. In 2012, I passed the CPA board exam on my first take. After passing the board exam, I joined the academe as a way of giving back to my alma mater. Then I briefly entered law school. In law school, some of the law subjects were not as difficult for me since business law subjects like sales, taxation, are also part of the accountancy's curriculum. That helped me maintain a position in the dean's list. I was a consistent dean's lister and belonged in the top tier of my class. After graduating from law school, I joined a Makati-based law firm as a tax assistant. In 2018, I passed the bar exam on my first take. And upon passing the bar, I was promoted from tax assistant to junior associate. Then after a year, I was again promoted to senior associate. And today, I am now a partner at my law firm the first female partner in 44 years. That I consider as a big achievement in my career. But with all the success 
I am grateful to MCL for preparing me to be where I am now. In all my endeavors, I still practice our school's motto, excellence and virtue. MCL has been influential in my professional journey, particularly its core values of excellence and virtue. The professors I've had all exemplify these values, and I still remember some of the more inspired ones today that made me want to improve myself. This is a testament to the quality of the professors in MCL. In the process, MCL equipped me with the appropriate knowledge and skills to help me pursue my profession. And most importantly, it made me believe in the practice of any profession, particularly the legal profession. Integrity and virtue are not weaknesses and something that must be constantly aspired. Let's move on how MCL delivers online education in this pandemic time. Here at MCL, we use Blackboard as our official learning management system that makes it possible for us to deliver quality online education with great ease. With its many features, faculty and students are connected to some of its tools such as course announcements, course messages, discussion board, field test, grade center, and many more. Now, the course announcement is used to get um, learners informed about important markers regarding the course. We nurture learners by attending to their academic needs and keeping them informed about the course they are enrolled in. Now, the course message is a graphic and secret space communication used by the course instructor and the learner to communicate with each other. While the discussion board is used to encourage learners to participate in one-way discussion other than if they are collaborative, it also encourages them to think um, critically about the topic and enable them to interact with one another. Now, that word collaborate is a sample-related classroom where the course instructor conduct online delivery of lessons, either live or um, pre-recorded presentations. Now, the build test enables course instructor to construct homework, quiz, and test items. We hone our learners' analytical skills by giving them challenging straight accounting problems. Learners answer the BBL building test and decide on to identify the system. Now, the great center is the class record, which is visible to the learners, for them to check their academic performance and track their progress. We design our course plans to set goals and directions, and we strictly follow the authorized course syllabus to ensure students to learn outcomes. Hi, I am Tonton San. Deployment of reading materials in advance, interactive presentation, asynchronous online learning delivery, so we also uh, provide certain Then we have online practice drills. I uh, also give formative and summative assessments and we give regular data. So that's it. Uh, at 
turning over to the page of KPRC. All right. So let me now discuss uh, the other programs which are BS Entrepreneurship, BS Hospitality Management, and B B uh, BS uh, Business Administration. So for the BS Entrepreneurship program, uh, this uh, program is a uh, three-year program and prepares individuals to start and manage and eventually expand their own business to compete in the global market. It also equips uh, students with a technical expertise in management, marketing, accountant, accounting, and business law and develop business sense in terms of identifying opportunities and developing business plans and strategies to make their business grow. Students shall be well guided on the different phases of putting up a business from ideation to business implementation. <laughs> Now, you can see later that several of its graduates have established successful business enterprises. Uh, this uh, course, the BS Entrepreneurship, is in compliance with the CMO 18 series of 2017 of, uh, of uh, CHED and enhanced by practical application through actual business operations for two years or equivalent to six terms. Now, uh, this whole uh, program now starts from the conceptualization of the business via a business proposal. And then uh, they create a business plan. And then after the business plan is approved by a panel of, uh, of, uh, of uh, professionals, they conduct the formal business launching wherein they apply for business registration, barangay and business permits, and even BIR permits. So they go through the whole uh, approval, no, formal approval process of the business. And then afterwards, they go through the actual business operation for two uh, terms. Now, this includes uh, monitoring their sales, no, uh, implementing their marketing strategies, and all of these things, and all of these things, now are based on the approved business plan. Okay, and then after they finish the term, they can decide whether to continue the business or uh, cease the business, no, by filing it with a um, with a government agency. All right. Now, for the uh, entrepreneurial entrepreneur activities, no, well, actually, this was pre-COVID, okay? So, they had encounters, face-to-face uh, -face meetings, and uh, uh, discussions no, with uh, successful entrepreneurs. They do company interviews and case studies. They also do business research and uh, program-related community engagements as well. Of course, now it's going to be a little bit different, but definitely, even if it's going to be online, there will be interactions with uh, successful entrepreneurs now who will be able to guide them as they go along in their program. All right. Now, what can you expect? Now, what careers can you expect for the BS Entrepreneurship program? Uh, for, for BS Entrepreneurship graduates. Of course, number one, and this is our priority, would be to set up and manage their own business. However, uh, we have had feedback from graduates wherein they said that they are not yet very confident about uh, putting up their own business or probably some are still trying to save money so that they can put it up. So what they do is they go into uh, other career options no? and uh, they apply in companies where they can go into business development, management consulting, corporate planning, product design. No? They can also go into advertising, marketing, PR, and sales. Okay? And then uh, they can also go into e-commerce or social media marketing financial analysis or financial advising, research and development, real estate, and other jobs that require entrepreneurial competencies. 
Okay? So actually, maraming uh, business or rather career opportunities that uh, our graduates can get into. Now, just to give you an idea of uh, the success stories no, of our MSHIP graduates, we have here uh, Ms. Hannah Hader. Okay? She's an entrepreneur and she owns uh, Katcha PH. No? Uh, she provides uh, ladies' accessories, no? ladies' clothes, and uh, sells these in uh, malls. No? Merong mga... Yung, meron na kayong kasing concept ngayon na uh, uh, different small entrepreneurs come together, put up a showroom in malls, and there they display their uh, their goods. Okay? So, in particular, she said that taking a business course does not give me a 100% chance of being a successful entrepreneur, but it surely shaped and motivated me to become one. Okay? Now, uh, what she liked in particular with the entry curriculum is that uh, she liked how the curriculum stretched us by having an implementation class. This is where we turn our business plans we once defended in front of panels into a reality. And this is where they manage day-to-day -day operations, marketing, sales targets, and many more. This whole experience gave me the confidence to take calculated risk. Another one of our successful graduates is Miss Irish May Katapang. Irish May now owns Martha Academy Multilingual Preschool Incorporated. And she said that uh, through MCL's intensive trainings for entrepreneurship students, I was able to comply with the legal requirements in opening Martha Academy. The process had been easy for me all the hard work has definitely paid off. And also, she said that MCL, through my professors, inspired me to pursue a career that can mold and change a person into someone better in the future. And also, let me share with you, uh, actually, this is just a list no, of uh, the graduates of entrepreneurship, uh, ito yung mga recent graduates natin who have had their, who have established their own businesses. No? So you have 8 Media, Tapsis, you might know these brands by the way, Tapsisig and GQ Mobile Bar, Sally's Rice Store and Mini Grocery, Wareshop.ph, Cactus Crafts and Souvenirs, Montec Enterprises, uh, Cram Cafe, Romero Business Management Consultancy, Carbon Auto Fix, and uh, actually we have two graduate, two groups of graduating students who have already established their own businesses. Hindi pa sila nakakagraduate. You have Bong Cookie and Cafe Del Fierro. So these are just some no, of, uh, of uh, our graduates and students who have started uh, embarking in business ventures. Okay, now you might ask, no, am I, would I be in the, in the, in, uh, would I make a good decision by being an, an entrepreneur? So this is just a, uh, somehow a checklist, no, of uh, the considerations. If you, uh, if you like having a boss, or if you do not like having a boss, no, if you do not like working in an office, if you do not uh, want being restricted to a tight schedule, no? And uh, these are some of the questions that if your answer is no, then you, would, you might want to um, think no, of a career in entrepreneurship. All right? And then um, from Tony Gaskins, no? He said that if you don't build your own dream, someone else will hire you to build theirs. theirs. Okay? So, uh, hopefully this would be something that will make you think no? and uh, try to consider a career in entrepreneurship. Alright. Now, the next program that I will be discussing is the BS Hospitality Management. Now, there's a popular quote that says, Do what you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. 
How do you agree with that? Okay. According to Business Insider Report, 76% of Gen Z uh, members, meaning the young college kids born after 2001, which you are a part of, are aiming to create jobs out of their hobbies, things they are passionate about, things they enjoy, and for which they are naturally wired to excel. And we can see that many young people, including yourselves, are finding joy in coming up you know, with culinary creations or bartending or food service or doing it work that involves engaging with other people. Now, to turn this passion into a career or profession, they have to become qualified so proper training is necessary to become marketable. So here at MCL, under the BS Hospitality Management Program, we will turn your passion into a personally satisfying profession. Okay? So, well, this BS Hospitality Management Program uh, is previously known as the Hotel and Restaurant Management Program. No? Na bago lang yung nomenclature because of uh, the CHED pronouncement. This is a three-year and one-term program. And it provides a well-balanced education that incorporates business, management, and life skills. The curriculum emphasizes on technical proficiency, strong communication skills, management know-how, business capability, and soft skills. Now, under the BS Hospitality uh, Management Program, there are three, uh, three areas no, of specialization. You have culinary, food service, and hotel operations. Uh, for the program highlights, well, basically, like all programs in MCL, we espouse outcomes-based teaching and learning. Our classes are small in size. Now, this allows for more personalized instruction. And then, uh, we do online trainings, no? Uh, that are made available by educational and industry partners to supplement instruction and skills application. And then we also make use of appropriate, creative, personalized, and cost-effective demonstration and return demonstration of skills. So actually, for courses such as food and beverage, bartending, no, or even baking, if we will not be able to do it face to face in the laboratory, we will be able we will still be able to deliver it in such a way that even if it's online, now we can do the demonstration, return demonstration and evaluation in such a way that learning will still be able to happen. Okay? And then um, well, what well, previously, no, we had off campus tours workshops, expositions, and competitions. Hopefully, in the new normal, no, we will still be able to do these things. Okay? Now, we are happy to inform everybody that 90 to 100 percent of our graduates are employed within six months after graduation. No? So, mataas naman po yung employability rate ng uh, hospitality management graduates ng MCL. Now, what can we expect no, in the hospitality industry that in the new normal? Now, you might ask kasi, nako, baka patay na yung hospitality industry. We do not have a career anymore. No? Actually, this is not really true. Um, of course, we have to give it a little more time. However, people as social creatures, no, we still would want to socialize, eat out, travel, and be entertained. Uh, actually, if you go out now, no, uh, yung mga uh, limited times that you're able to go out, you will see that restaurants and hotels are very strict in uh, following safety protocols. Okay? And quality dining experiences can still be provided even if it's contactless. No? And uh, we, uh, uh, they will still assure you that warm hospitality, and flexibility can still be felt by the customers no, even with the safety protocols in place. Okay? So what's really important now no, for uh, those incoming, no, uh, incoming uh, students of hospitality management, 
those who are within the program and those who are graduating now it's important that uh, you take this time to be educated to be well trained no so that when the industry opens again you will be ready to face the challenges of the new normal industry all right now let's go to careers now actually maraming careers uh, that are available okay you can go into hotel operations no uh, hospitality management entertainment no luxury services food and beverage health and wellness online technology no and even other roles such as uh, consultancy and project management and research and development now so there are a wide variety of careers available for uh, hospitality management graduates okay so just to uh, let you know how our students are doing first we have eric jason gagni a graduate of uh, 2015 bshrm he said that, uh, well, Eric works at Delta Hotels by Marriott Grand Okanagan Resort and Coastal Hotels and Wendy's. No? So Eric holds three, uh, three jobs in uh, British Columbia in Canada. And he said that being where I am today manifests how MCL instilled in me the knowledge and skills that are crucial in the hospitality industry. I realized that it was understanding and imbibing the learnings, keeping the passion alive, and honing soft skills on the side that are important. Next, we have uh, Jonathan Tolentino, Batch 2014, who is a front office supervisor at B Hotel Alabang. And he said that maybe the most important attitude that I got from MCL is to quickly adopt to whatever situation you are in. MCL has given me the tools that I need on what to expect while when I'm in the real world. Okay, and then let us hear from the from two other graduates not in their video testimonials. Hi, I'm Rob. And I'm Rob. We, we are the owners, owners of Intensity Glass. We started our business right after graduation. Our first branch is at South Point Square beside MCL, way back 2012. Then year 2018, we started franchising our business. So as of the moment, we have 25 branches nationwide, mostly in Laguna. MCL taught us the skills needed and right mindset on how to become successful in our chosen career. MCL has been our training ground that hone our abilities to provide excellent customer service that up until now, we are still applying on our business over the years. MCL is our right choice. Develop your talent and, and begin your quest for knowledge here at Malayan, Malayan Colleges Laguna. Hi everyone, my name is Teresa El Gokpinar and I took Bachelor's of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management at Malayan Colleges Laguna. MCL have helped me in so many ways. And mind you, being a student at MCL is not that easy just because you really have to uphold that excellence and virtue. And looking back at it right now, it was all worth it. I am a hospitality and software project manager here in Canada. I am responsible for more than 200 hotels and restaurants around the world. I travel around the world um, to train uh, on service, technical, and even product development. Just to give you an example of who I work with, I work with Intercontinental Hotels, The Hamptons, Jay Parker Hotels, Hilton Hotels, LGO Restaurants, and many more. I directly train managers and even the CEOs and owners, depending on my contract but my favorite trainings would be with the chefs. I have met a lot of celebrity chefs, but because of my NDA, I cannot share all of them with you. My favorite uh, chefs that I met and worked with would be uh, Jessica Coslo and Gabriela Camara. 
if you've watched A Tale of Two Kitchens on Netflix there uh, in that show. And it's really amazing just working with them. Uh, you know, in this journey, it's not all uh, on the outside. I have been reluctant, discouraged, and sometimes even giving up. However, MCL taught me that if I had the knowledge, the training, the experience, and the courage to come back up, I can make it. I can do it. You know, I have been, um, I graduated eight years already, and my professors and my classmates still got my back, and that, and that is excellence and virtue right there. So hopefully you make the right decisions to go to um, MCL like I did. And I am wishing all of you the best in life. Thank you. All right. So now let us uh, go to the BS Business Administration, major in marketing. Uh, this is our newest baby. Actually, this is the first uh, year of uh, offering for the BSBA. Now, uh, this program is a three-year and one-third program that prepares uh, the students to get into a marketing career or start their own entrepreneurial venture. The curriculum fo focuses on outcomes-based learning with global outlook to provide the necessary competencies in marketing research and product development through advertising, e-commerce, and digital marketing. The focus, uh, our focus specifically is on developing marketing competencies with the, age, with the aid of digital te technology. Now, uh, what uh, careers no, can you get into with a BSBA degree? No? Of course, dahil nga we're all going digital now, the trending mar marketing careers are into digital marketing, data analysis, market research, search engine optimization, customer relationship management. And for the entry level positions that you can get into, no, you can be you can apply for an executive assistant position, marketing assistant, sales or account executive, management trainee, customer service representative, a product or brand assistant, a market researcher, public relations officer, event specialist, social media marketing, digital media marketing, marketer, a media buyer, web content creator, digital copywriter, business advisor, and of course, uh, your very own entrepreneur. Okay, so maraming choices no, when it comes to the BSBA careers. All right, so after that, let me turn you over to Ms. Merle Ruiz for the BS Tourism Management Program. Hello, good morning, everyone. We're back once again. So let me present to you the BSTM, uh, BS Tourism Management Program. Okay, so our program equips students with competencies needed to execute operational tasks and management functions in the field of tourism and hospitality industry. Uh, the curriculum focuses on student-centered activities by the necessary competencies in different aspects of their profession, including uh, tourism planning and product development, sustainable tourism practices, events planning, transportation services, and travel and tour operations. The online activities are supported by educational industry partners to hope to further their skills. The integration of theory and practice forms the foundations of our curriculum design and instructional delivery, thereby we really expose our students to different trainings to further hone their skills both inside and outside the campus. We partner with leading uh, global distribution systems like Amadeus, Saver, 
sky of creation, ground services, where students uh, can have a hands-on experience on airline and aviation operation, which is still possible even uh, this online delivery. Apart from that, uh, we also take into consideration to embed corporate social responsibility in our curriculum. Uh, this allows students to partner and serve the community uh, by sharing their skills while applying, while applying their knowledge they gain. And um, this is also the time to ignite their passion to serve others. Well, travel and tourism industry is a global uh, industry where there's a wide range of job opportunities available to our graduates. At the same time, uh, working in tourism management uh, generally, generally involves a wide range of interesting tasks like meeting new people and possibly uh, being given the opportunity to travel for free. Well, other career options, they can work in other government agencies like uh, Department of Tourism or Department of Foreign Affairs. And they can also have the chance to run their business Particular, particularly the travel agency. So let me share with you some success stories of our students giving their thoughts on how MCL became a pathway in their journey to reach their goal. So one we have here is Ms. Charmaine Gabello. Uh, she, she now connected at uh, Air Street Airline as flight attendant. Group activity. The exposures at handling events, I was able to develop my skills within those fruitful years. I'm grateful for all the things that I have experienced with MCL. From group activities to exposures and handling events, I was able to develop my skills within those fruitful years. We also have here Mr. Uh, Sebi Gordo. Uh, he's a passenger service supervisor at Saudi Airlines. The beloved institution lives up to its mission in producing globally competitive individuals. I am honored to be one. Honed and equipped with the knowledge that I gained, I am happy that I found my place in the aviation industry as a passenger service supervisor in Oman, Muscat. And last we have here Mr. Jeffrey Gomez. Uh, he works as research analyst at the Department of Foreign Affairs. MCL is environment-friendly, very welcoming atmosphere, and offers state-of-the-art facilities which made my studying enjoyable and balanced my spiritual and social activities. The training I gain enables me to have the right level of confidence having a career in a diplomacy in a government office. Yes, um, I'm aware that having transitioned to our new normal uh, is really um, big use and difficult for everyone. However, really, we really need to embrace these changes amid challenges. We're very fortunate that MCL has been committed to provide multiple pathways to education continuity. We teachers become designers of online learning overnight. Yes, we go beyond our time just to address the concerns or queries of our students, uh, curating online resources, and learn technical tools for the online classes. Uh, we even redesign our assessment, ensuring our online lessons delivery are valid or relevant to meet every course objectives we handle. So rather than saying there is difficulty for every opportunities, let me show you the word of Albert 
Einstein, which he called, in the middle of difficulties lies opportunity. Well, taking into consideration this context, we teachers, students, and parents continue to find strength by working together, so supporting one another, and moving in one pathway in these tough times. So thank you for uh, the testimonies of our graduates, the online experience shared by our students and faculty. We can probably say that you can entrust your child's education at MCL. Thank you, Mamurli. Okay, so now that we have presented to you the different programs under the ETU Trenko College of Business, uh, let me just submit to you what we have been doing, you know, how we have been preparing for this new normal. Uh, so, uh, well, first of all, you know, uh, let me assure you that our faculty members are all qualified competent and dedicated no i would like to strengthen as uh, i would like to stress on the word dedicated uh, because so uh, our faculty members no particularly for the past few months have really been doing their uh, best to ensure that uh, they are uh, well equipped not to handle online education starting uh, the first term of school year 2020-2021 all right, so they have been going through much training and retraining on online delivery no, from March to present. And uh, right now, no, we are in the process of revising our curriculum and syllabi to make sure that they target student outcomes through outcomes-based education, intensify the development of soft skills now required by post-COVID job markets, now particularly on the soft skills requirement of uh, the industry and then we need to build up uh, awareness and responsiveness to societal issues no and uh, i guess also important is to prepare them for job changes due to technological and societal shifts okay so we've been doing all these uh, changes in the curriculum no, and in the syllabi to make sure that they are responsive to the needs of our students. And similarly, no, of course, like the rest of uh, the MCL community, uh, our primary delivery is online and remote teaching. Our faculty members use a variety of interactive online teaching strategies to ensure the smooth and effective flow of the learning process. And we make use again of relevant, creative, personalized, and outcomes-based assessment. Now, for courses with practicum or on-the-job training, we have already identified alternative activities. And these include supplementary online courses, attendance to local and international webinars, virtual apprenticeship provided by industry partners, case studies of existing companies, and uh, entrepreneurial ventures. No? So, hindi naman, we are not really limited. Well, of course, we are limited, but uh, we are able to move forward with our practical courses. And then lastly, no, again, uh, MCL, we have uh, been using Blackboard for several years now as our learning management system, and we will continue to do so. No? Uh, we also have partnership with organizations that provide a wide variety of learning resources such as Coursera, Wiley, Cengage, McGraw, and LinkedIn. Now, and then lastly, I think this is very important. Now, now in this time of pandemic uh, where we cannot really get the support of uh, friends or uh, peers, we have an enhanced support on student intervention. So when our students have problems, now our support system, whether it's from the deans, the dean or the, the program chairs, the teachers themselves, and our CGC, now we are always here to, uh, to offer student intervention and guidance. All right? 
So, let me now uh, turn you over to the testimonials of our students and faculty members on how they are uh, coping no, with the online learning and what their experiences are on how we were able to develop or to implement online learning during the third term. I am Lourdes Leo Harisa, faculty member of ACT program under ETYCD. Last term, these are the courses I handled, Financial Management, Intermediate Accounting 1B, Accounting for Partnership, Internal Auditing 1, and Practicum. Here are the MCL's technical support teams and learning resource provider that assisted me last time, LEIO, ITSO, and CLEAR. I prepared and deployed narrated presentations, learning tasks and quizzes, and course assessments using Blackboard Learn and Wiley Plus. For my practicum course, I asked the students to enroll in Coursera courses. I'm always using Blackboard Learn, and this is the MCL's learning management system. This is for my intermediate accounting part two course, I have made BBL Collaborate narrated lecture presentation for revaluation. This is the first illustration for proportional approach and this one for elimination approach. Another topic is the computation of investment in associate and investment income. This is also for intermediate accounting. So I have this Excel file to demonstrate the step-by-step -step computation of those accounts. I also use BBL Collaborate for my uh, partnership accounting course. This one is an illustration regarding distribution of profit using combination of schemes. I also use Excel through BBL. I also made narrated demo computation for capital budgeting techniques. Wiley is one of the content educational content partners of MCL, and this one is an example of Wiley Plus lecture video presentation available to the students. And this is for test item. So I'm using Wiley Plus for my financial management course. This one is, this will reinforce students learning because this one has the solution, complete solution, link to text, and interactive tutorial. Aside from those, we have Wiley Plus eText and Vital Source Bookshelf. For internal auditing one course, I asked the students to access this Wiley eText, namely Brinks Modern Internal Auditing and Wiley CIA Excel Exam Review. And we have Coursera. Coursera is also one of the educational content partner of MCL. So for my practicum course, I asked the students to enroll in at least two courses. One is fundamental of financial and management accounting. Another one is auditing one conceptual foundations of auditing. Learn and excel in accounting in the new normal. Experience MCL. Good morning, our dearest stakeholders. My name is Hernan Hernani Luis, a faculty member at the Etiuchenko College of Business. The COVID-19 pandemic has led education into uncertain times. No one is really prepared for this kind of situation, but we have the opportunity to explore solutions on how we can further address these challenges. It is clear that online education will play an essential role to learning for as long as COVID-19 is present. We are not yet certain about the immediate future, but we are fortunate that the MCL management prepared us 
to fully support the online learning needs of MCL students. They have provided us the resources, invested on new technology, and equipped us with a series of training sessions that enhance our skills in delivering online education. As we shift to online learning, we design our courses accordingly, adapt the lessons on hand to suit the online format, and deploy appropriate measures to make education more effective. We admit that there are some areas for improvement, but we are a work in progress. So rest assured that we are doing our best to be more effective as instructors in the current situation. Although there are few apprehensions on converting to full online modality, the commitment to learning of my ETYCB colleagues and students have inspired me to adjust with ease to this kind of setup. I am confident that we are ready to continue our service to deliver quality business education as instructors and learning facilitators for our students in the new normal. Good day, I'm Andrea Arce, a second year accountancy student. We know that because of COVID-19, we have to adjust our learning setting. For my case, I struggled with online classes primarily because the environment in our homes is not as learning conducive as a classroom. Aside from that, online classes are not as equally engaging as traditional classes because the discussions were mostly pre-recorded. So what worked for me was to create my own schedule and to create notes while watching these pre-recorded discussions. My professor also helped us by facilitating a real-time online class allotted for the difficult topics that made it more engaging and allowed us to clarify areas that were not clear to us. Lastly, Blackboard Learn, our official learning management system, allowed us to download learning materials, refer back to past lessons, and monitor our online class standing. This allowed us to motivate ourselves that we can indeed learn to adapt. Hi, I am Tonton Santos, an incoming second year student taking up BS Accountancy, and I'm here to share how I cope with the full online course delivery last term. MCL is equipped in delivering the online courses with the use of a learning management system called Blackboard Learn. One thing that really made me pass my courses is having the habit of checking my BBL every day. In this way, I can remain organized and informed. With BBL, your professors can set up multiple folders in order to help you have a keen eye on each task they require. They can also reach out to you with the use of the course announcement, messages, and discussion board options. BBL automatically compiles the tasks in order to help you keep up. MCL has implemented asynchronous learning. With this, students may engage in self-paced learning in all the courses. They can access the learning materials including the video lectures at their own convenience and without limit. Hi, my name is Dwayne, currently taking up Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management here at MCL. Online classes at Malayan College Laguna has opened a lot of doors, not just for us students, but for teachers as well. It made us explore alternative learning approach that we never thought was possible until today. Not only did it introduce us to new technologies, but also helped us to learn discipline as it is one of the key elements in success later on in life. It taught us to manage our time properly and not to slack off as it is detrimental to learning. Time management has been instilled in us as well. We learned how to manage our time so as not to put too much emphasis on one aspect, but rather to distribute our attention equally. Should there be challenges, our professor who are just a ping away are more than a willing to answer our questions and be of assistance. I can say that in these times, we should explore all avenues of learning and what Malayan College Saguna 
recommended is a great way to continue education. Hi, my name is Dwayne, currently taking up budget recommended is a great way to continue education regardless of the circumstances. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Hans Navarro. I'm a college student in Malayan Colleges, Laguna, and I'm going to be a second year college student uh, in the next school year of hospitality and management. Now, ever since the pandemic started, we as students were having troubles in uh, adjusting in our new normal, uh, following up in our requirements from different subjects, but because of dedication, and uh, sacrifice, we managed to learn and uh, finish our previous school year, even though it's online. And hopefully in our next school year, we're gonna all strive even better in studying and finish our task or requirements from different subjects. Online learning was very challenging because it's not the usual kind of learning experience and the internet connection did not cooperate so much. But thanks to the help of our dear professors, who are very responsive, considerate, and push us to the best of our ability, online learning was a success. One thing that online learning in XL taught me is to go beyond what myself can do. It taught me time management and discipline between my personal time, family time, and academics. Online learning was very challenging. experience the ETY CVs BS Accountancy and BS Accounting Information System academic programs only here at Malayan Colleges Laguna. Okay, so with that, uh, we hope to welcome you soon uh, in the ETYCB family. No? Uh, I hope you will really get to consider uh, taking any program with us and we hope to see you in August. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, uh, Dean Roda and our program chairs from ETYCB. So, ngayon po, babasahin natin yung mga uh, questions and answers na na-post sa ating uh, chat box. So, first question, ayan, hello po, ask ko lang po kung may required books po sa uh, accountancy. So, uh, it, this question has been answered. In the past, only Filipiniana of Philippine authorship books are prescribed for students' use. Uh, and also, in the past, we used only Filipiniana books, but since 2014, we have been adopting foreign authored books. In 2018, we partnered with McGraw-Hill and started using e-text books. We also have partnered with other international publishers such as Wiley and Cengage. And last term, during the third term, where uh, we were on full online, we used Wiley Digital Resources. But for our courses like law and taxation, we use locally authored books. Next question, may schedule na po ba for the new academic scholarship examination kahit tentative pa po? So, wala pa pong uh, uh, tentative schedule or new schedule for that. So, we suggest to uh, stay tuned to our social media pages and our website for announcements. Ilang years po ang BSTM or ang BS Tourism Management? So, BS Tourism Management or TM is 3 years and 1 term. 
Hi, good day po. Ask ko lang po kailan po namin mamimit yung blockmates po namin. Thank you and have a nice day. So, you will get to meet them virtually on the first day of classes. So, ayan po, yun lang yung ating mga questions so far. So, meron pa pong isa, ayan. Hi, is it possible to meet our blackmates before the first day of class? Uh, you, you have to meet them on the first day po, virtually, ayan. So, uh, we are going to flash our uh, helplines on the screen, ayan. So, again, if you have further questions, uh, if you have other concerns, you may contact us in the of uh, helplines flash on your screen. You may also see the helplines in our Facebook page, in our Twitter and Instagram pages as well, and nasa website din po siya. So, it's a pop-up screen in our website. So, should you need further assistance to any concerns like for admissions, for registrar, and for treasury, yung mga helplines po available, yung contact numbers as well as their email addresses. So, uh, yun po, wala na tayong question. So, in behalf of the admissions team and uh, ETYCB, again, thank you very much po sa lahat na nag-join for uh, this morning's session of Viewpoints, uh, an online meeting with new students and parents focusing on business education in the new normal. Again, I am Natalie Joyce Rivera, the Director of the Office for Corporate Communications. Have a nice day.